apologies in advance if the decor in this video is a bit inappropriate and this video is maybe going up in January or after Christmas. I'm not sure when I'm going to schedule this to go up. But as I said, I'm going away for Christmas and I'm going to be really busy so I've Gonna, I'm gonna schedule everything and I could not film next to the Christmas tree because it's just too pretty and I love it so this video is going to be an ask me video because I had a bunch of questions on Instagram that I didn't answer in my last video so I'm gonna do five questions as usual for you in this video and let's get started the first question is what is the shortest your hair has ever been and how long did it take for you to grow it to the length it is now my hair's never really been short. Um, obviously, like when I was a baby and that kind of thing, it was. But my hair um, kind of was just shoulder length when I was a kid, and then it grew and it suddenly went straight when I was probably around kind of seven or eight. It just went a bit straight, and it was just kind of very long and sort of maybe had a slight wave, but it wasn't curly. And then when I hit puberty, all of a sudden it just went really curly again, and it was very strange. I don't know kind of how that works, but maybe it's to do with hormones or something. I don't know. Um, and the shortest my hair has ever really been is probably about here. So kind of mid arm length, that's kind of probably the shortest it's ever been. Obviously when it's curly sometimes it can look shorter than it is because the curls are kind of making it shorter but it is very um, long um, when it's kind of on its own. I am going to get it cut when I go away, I'm going to get it layered really properly again because it just really needs it and I've been trying to avoid doing it because I love having it this length but it just doesn't really work. So yeah, that's that. And how long did it take me to get it to the length it is now? It's probably the longest it's ever been now because I don't really cut it very often and I kind of treat it very well, I suppose. So it's not something that I can answer with a kind of conclusive, well, I cut my hair and then two years later it got to this length because it's always pretty much been long. It's kind of, it's a very difficult question to answer. So I'm sorry for whoever asked that if that was a really crappy answer, but it's always been long. Um, if you could have one, only one foundation and one lipstick for the rest of your life, what would you choose? If I could have one foundation for the rest of my life, it would be NARS Sheer Glow. It's my favourite foundation. I just love everything about that foundation. It's just perfection. And I might even buy myself for Christmas a paler shade of it. But um, yeah, NARS Sheer Glow, all-time favourite. Lipsticks, I don't think I could choose just one. Um, I like changing up the colour of my lipstick and I really enjoy kind of playing around with it and things so I don't think I could really pick just one lipstick for the rest of my life. I'm sorry, I know who asked this as well, um, Claire, but I, I can't pick one lipstick, don't do that to me. One that I do really, really love and I'd probably be okay if I had to wear it forever would probably be something like Max Viva Glam Cindy because I feel like that colour really suits me but I can't pick. Um, then number three is how can you lose weight if you're living with very skinny family members? I um, had this problem kind of when I was living at home because my family are all pretty much skinny. Um, well, the kind of, the majority of them anyway, um, are very thin and can kind of eat whatever they want really. And I did really struggle with it because I thought they were eating and think, but why can't I eat that? And I kind of think that sometimes with my boyfriend, like last night for example, I had some soup and he had some sausages and some potato wedges, um, homemade potato wedges, and they're really, really nice when I make these potato wedges. And I had one, um, and that was that, but I did really want to have the potato wedges. I didn't because I have to practice self-control self -control, and that's really the key. You have to practice self-control, you have to just not allow yourself to kind of do whatever you want because um, you, you'll eventually you'll pay the price and if you are someone who struggles with your weight like I do it can be so frustrating and so difficult to not do it to kind of constantly have to watch what you're eating but you have to do it because at the end of the day you know it's your body and it's worth it for you and you need to just ignore what they're eating and try and kind of tell them that you're really struggling and see if they'll kind of help you and not maybe buy some of some of the junk that kind of would tempt you and that kind of thing talk to them because I'm sure if you tell them that you're struggling with it they would want to help you then number four is do you like having sisters and do you ever wish you had a brother um just a little fact I do have a brother but um clearly you know my teenage brother does not want to be in my beauty videos <laughs> but I do have a brother um so we're five and we're four girls and one boy so yeah, I do like having sisters, I really like having sisters, um, I really like having a brother as well, I think it's really nice to kind of have a lot of siblings and I'm very close to most of 
well, all of my sisters, it's just they're kind of different ages, so the kind of closeness varies, obviously, but I'm close to both my sisters, um, and I wouldn't change it for the world. I love them completely, and my brother, but um, <laughs> I do find it strange when I think about when I have children in the future. I find it very difficult to kind of grasp the concept of having boys, because <laughs> I just... I don't, I don't get boys. They're okay when they're older, but little boys, I just... I don't get them. I was looking after a friend's little boy um, once and he wanted to draw something. So, you know, being a girl, I can draw a house, I can draw flowers, I can, you know, I can draw girly things. So I said, what shall we draw? And he said, a monster truck. And I just thought, oh my God, I don't even know what a monster truck is. <laughs> so I don't know how I would handle having boys. I do want to, but I just can't, I don't know how you relate to little boys. They're a little bit, I don't know, just I find it difficult to relate to how they always have to smack things and they always make a mess and things like that. I just find them a bit confusing. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's kind of question number four. And then question number five is, have you got any YouTubers who inspire you? There are tons of YouTubers that inspire me. There are lots of them who, you know, I think are really hard workers and who have ended up in a fantastic position because of the amount of work that they've put in, like Fleur de Force, for example. Um, obviously, uh, Lisa Eldridge, I just think, is um, an absolute genius and she's amazing and really, really inspiring as a woman in general, not just as a YouTuber. Um, and then other people, you know, even people like Miss Budget Beauty, for example, Michaela, someone who has got a very busy life and small children and puts a lot of effort into doing this because they kind of started it and it's their passion and they love it. I think that's a really, really important thing to do. And that's why I kind of really make sure that I'm always on top of my channel and I'm always updating it and I'm always keeping with it because I think it's something that's very important to maintain and to take seriously. I very much kind of believe in once you've started something, you see it through. Of course, I wouldn't see it through if it wasn't something I enjoyed, but it is something that I really, really, really enjoy. So I always want to be doing it. So yeah, that's my um, Ask V video. I hope you are having a great day. Um, if you've got any questions for next video, then let me know in the down bar and I'll try and pick five questions from the questions that you asked. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon.